Very quick video today for new Mini 4 Pro owners today, covering probably the single most talked about issue in my inbox this last month. Whether or not the Mini 4 Pro is fixed to 120 meters max altitude, and whether it will still be a hard limit for flyers in the UK after January 2024. This all stems from the uh, C0 label that is sported on the Mini 4 Pro and the EASA rules for a drone sporting that label. DJI have finally sorted this out with their latest RC uh, remote control firmware that was released this week. And whilst it's designed to fix the 120 meter limit once and for all, making sure that things are compliant for flyers in the EU, it's also trying to not unnecessarily restrict flyers elsewhere. And that in itself has actually caused a bit of confusion for people. So I thought I'd do a very quick video today on what the latest update does, who it affects and how it impacts you. So look, um, in a nutshell, uh, when the new Mini 4 Pro was released in the autumn, there was a hard limit of 120 meters altitude for some users in the EU, which was then lifted by an update by DJI, which removed that hard limit. However, as I said, in order to comply with the EASA rules on C0 drones, which are the models with the least restrictions of flying, from January 2024, C0 drones flown in Europe would have to have this hard limit of 120 metres in place. However, that hard limit, of course, isn't required for drones flown outside of EASA countries. And I should add that whilst we're talking about this limit, in almost all countries around the world, there is a legal limit of 120 meters or 400 feet. But whilst the rules state that applies to the drone's height above the ground it's flying over, DJI drones display and measure the height of the drone relative to the takeoff point, not the ground. And that is where the issue comes into play. Because if you're flying in a hilly or mountainous area, you can legitimately increase the height limit to allow you to fly uphill. So this week, DJI updated the RC2 remote with the new function to fix it, in their words, the ineffective 120 meter altitude limit in the EU. Um, it's RC2 firmware version V02000100, and this introduces a new hard limit of 120 meters altitude for people flying in the EU. But it also gives those very same users a way to choose whether or not they stick to that limit to maintain their C0 rating for their drone, or whether to request the removal of this restriction and lose their C0 status for their drone. And that is what's caused some confusion in that this hard limit and function only appears if you're flying in an EU country. So for us flyers in the UK or the USA, Australia, or anywhere else, you won't have this hard limit of 120 meters and you won't even see the option to request its removal. So, if you're flying in the EU and you get this hard limit, you now have a choice to make. Because the way DJI have implemented this means you either choose to accept the 120 meter limit and keep your C0 sticker, or you request the high altitude limit. And once you do, there is no going back because the request will impose a new hard max limit of 500 meters. And that means the drone is no longer compliant with C0 requirements. And DJI do not give you the option to revert back. This whole process is outlined in their new document called the DJI Mini Series and <laughs> the 120 meter altitude limit in the EU. Very clear label there. And I will link to this uh, document in the notes below so you can actually read through it if you're in the EU and you want to proceed with this change. In short, it outlines the steps to take by updating the firmware with the RC2 remote, then showing how you click the request higher altitude limit which will generate a QR code for you to use with your phone. You then need to remove the little C0 label on the drone and take a photo of the fact that it's been removed and then upload that photo via the web, web page that that QR uh, code takes you to. You finally need to confirm that you are happy to proceed and that there is no reverting back. And once you ask for that limit to be removed, you will no longer have a C0 drone and you will not be able to get that classification back. If you're happy, it's uploaded and your limit is removed. So that's it. It's quite a clean and simple fix, I think, considering the different rules they were trying to satisfy. But there are, as I see it, a couple of key points. One, uh, obvious, this is not actually just for the Mini 4 Pro. It's the Mini Series. Mini 3 and the Mini 2 users will also have the same restrictions and options in the EU. Two, as I said, for those of us outside the EU, you won't even see this function, but you will 
if you take your drone and fly it in an EU country if you're on holiday, like many of us obviously are in the UK do. When you power it on, you will see the hard limit of 120 meters automatically imposed, and you can just fly as usual. When you return home to a non-EU country, that 120 meter limit will be removed and you fly as normal again. So all nice and simple. However, if you're visiting an EU country and you want to remove that 120 meter limit, then you're gonna to have to go through the process I've just outlined, but crucially, you will not be able to revert it back to a C0 drone, even when you go back home. You've got to remember the way I see it, the UK Civil Aviation Authority, they've officially disregarded the numeric C classification system. So it could be argued there's no benefit in having a little C0 label anyway. But that said to me, CAA are pretty good at changing their minds and rules quite regularly. And I can easily see a scenario where they do start recognizing the classifications again. So for me, I don't know, given the extraordinarily rare occasions I actually want to increase that limit, I will not be taking this route and I will keep my C0 label on my Mini 4 Pro if I ever visit uh, Europe or, or Malta as I do quite regularly. And I guess that's the question our European friends have to ask themselves. Do they really need to, that ability to fly higher than 120 meters and then lose all of the extra freedoms you get like flying in towns and built up areas with a C0 drone? And finally, a key point, this only applies to drones bought before the end of 2023. From 2024 onwards, DJI state that all minis will be sold with a mandatory C0 label that cannot be removed. So the procedure won't be possible for any new mini drones bought 2024 onwards, which I guess kind of makes sense because ultimately if you can peel the sticker off, you can always put the sticker back on again and who's to know what you've done. So I guess they probably want all new models to be pretty much hardwired to stay C0. And that said, I'm hoping and expecting, I've got to say, that these new models bought next year will still be geo-aware to enable the higher limit outside of the EU. But I guess we're probably just going to have to wait and see on that one. Anyway, look, a bit longer than I wanted to go through, fair bit to cover there, but hopefully this has cleared up the Mini 4's max altitude confusion once and for all. As ever, let me know your thoughts below and whether or not you will be taking the plunge and removing the label and whether you're a UK flyer visiting the EU or if you live in the EU and are deciding what to do. I always, always love reading your thoughts below. For me, here I am in the garden. I'm still unpacking boxes in the house. I'm still setting up the new studio. So currently I'm stuck to filming outside for now because you don't want to see the bombshell inside. But hopefully I will get the studio sorted soon, especially with winter coming. Now look, as ever, give me a little thumbs up if you found this useful. As ever, until next time, have fun, happy flying.